Hi guys, I'm Brittany. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a solo episode on how I got my abs. I get this question literally on the daily from you guys asking like, how do I get a defined core? How do I get a six pack? How do I burn fat in my stomach area? So I kind of wanted to address how I got my abs and how I've been able to continue them. What I did when I was pregnant and what I did after I was pregnant to get them back. And I'm just excited to tell you guys what I know so I think it's important to note that everybody's body is different and everybody's metabolism is different so things that work for me might not necessarily work for you or for your neighbor or for your best friend everybody is different and so your body's gonna react differently to different foods and different workouts um, so I just want to put that little disclaimer out there that this is not like a one-size-fits-all health and fitness isn't a one-size-fits-all this is just some general guidelines and some things that have worked for me Another little disclaimer in here I am by no means a nutritionist or a professional in this industry I just have a lot of experience in this field I've worked in gyms my entire life I've done personal training certificates and I did a major in school in exercise science with my experience growing up and all the things that I've done researching outside of school I do feel like I have a good knowledge on this topic and but I just want to put it out there that I'm not a professional I'm not I can't diagnose um, anything like that I just am able to suggest what I do and what's worked best for me just a little bit of a background about me so I grew up super active I was always running around doing some kind of sport being active and being outdoor and always exercising so I had a really good foundation of exercise growing up and I also grew up eating pretty healthy so I didn't have much processed food in my home and my parents always taught me the importance of eating healthy to feel and be your best so I had that general background which has been really helpful for me growing up and as I've started like my own family for the way that I want things to be for us after I graduated high school and I wasn't playing sports as often started working out in the gym and I learned quickly that my body was changing as I was going through puberty and I would have to learn how to work out for my body type I've tried all different different um, kinds of workouts and I love them all I really do love a lot of variety in my workouts but the things that have worked best for me um, as far as like my body type and how to work out for me is to do HIIT workouts and to lift weights I have found that when I lift weights I have a lot better muscle definition and tone and I get more build that way so I really like to lift weights lifting weights is so important for your muscles and for your health but it's also so important for your bones because when you lift weights it puts stress on your bones and tension on your bones so it helps them grow and become stronger and if you're never if you never lift weights in your life your bones are going to be really weak so it's really important for that and for like when you get older in order to help your bones Weightlifting is also super important because when you weightlift, you burn more calories throughout the day than you would if you just did just only cardio. When you do cardio, you burn calories in the moment, but when you do weightlifting, you burn calories in the moment and as your muscles are building back up. So when you weightlift, your muscles break down. And then after you do your workout for the day, your muscles start to build back together and that also burns calories. That's why weightlifting burns more calories than just in the moment of cardio if that makes sense so I really really believe that abs are made in the kitchen it's about 70% what you eat and 30% working out I think that's true for health in general the most important thing that you can do for your health is to eat healthy and to eat clean but I want to just kind of tell you a little bit about how I eat so I try really hard to focus on natural foods and um, to avoid processed food to describe a little bit about what processed foods are versus natural foods are so unprocessed natural foods are example something like an apple so if you go out to a tree and you pick an apple right off the tree that hasn't been created by man it's not man-made it is completely natural it just came from a plant that was alive it's real food is what they call it it's colorful it's bright and then take for example crackers so crackers are not found in nature you can't just like go out and pick crackers off a tree they're man-made they have additives in them they're made with things that are not natural to our bodies not natural to the environment so they have additives in them so that they can stay um, shelf stable and even just like bread has additives in it I'm not saying that all processed foods are unhealthy 
I just prefer to focus on eating natural foods, vegetables and fruits, and try and get organic as most as possible so that it's not sprayed with pesticides. So that is how I um, try to eat. I also try and get in a good amount of protein because protein is essential to rebuilding muscles and since I like to weight lift and work out every day it's essential that I have enough protein to rebuild those muscles. I'm not a vegetarian, I like to eat animal based protein so I try and focus on good sources of animal protein as well as nuts. So let's talk about pregnancy and what I did for my abs during pregnancy. While I was pregnant I did not do a lot of core exercises. I wish I would have done more in my obliques. I just wasn't aware at that time that I could do anything with my abs. I wanted to be really careful to not have my abs cone, which is where your stomach like literally comes to a cone when you are doing like, so if you're in a crunch position, your stomach will come to a cone. That means that your abs have started to separate and I just wanted to avoid that coning at all costs, so I never did anything with my obliques, which are actually okay while you're pregnant. Um, my next pregnancy, I'm definitely gonna do things differently. After I had crew, I obviously had diastasis recti, which is where your abs are separated, which everybody has. It just depends on the person on if they come back quickly or like how far they come back naturally. So in my first six weeks before I could really work out after I had crew, I did a lot of diastasis recti moves that um, I did them every day. I did a lot of breathing exercises so that my core would come back together. You can YouTube a ton of these moves like on YouTube just search best diastasis recti uh, movements to do after having a baby and it will teach you how to do like the breathing and the movement so that your core comes back together and closes that gap. And I'll teach you at the end of this video if you're interested, if you're pregnant, or if you just had a baby, if you think you still have diastasis recti, I'll teach you how to tell if you have it, as well as some um, a few moves that I've been doing, honestly, since I had crew. Mine is completely closed now. It wasn't closed as of like a month ago. I've still been doing the movements to get it all the way completely closed. After I had crew, my body had changed a lot and I was pretty bummed because all the hard work that I felt like I had put in before to keep a really strong core, I felt like it had gone away and I was back at ground zero. I had to do a lot to get my core to come back to the way that it was along with those breathing diastasis recti moves. I have started to do daily workouts for my core. I get asked this question often, can I work out my core every single day? I do some sort of ab workout every single day so I try and strengthen my core every day. In the beginning the three moves that I did before I had crew every single day even if it was like midnight and I was like about to go to bed. I have so many memories in college of it being like midnight and I had just like said my prayers and rolled into bed and I'm like no I didn't do my abs for the day so I'd roll back out and I would just do on the ground of my little dorm I would just do one minute center ab center plank one minute side plank and one minute on the other side and I would just hold that and I think I got up to like two minutes holding it at one point like I had tried to work up like an extra five seconds every day or every week and I got up to like two minutes holding it on the center and the side and the side. I'm trying to get back to that again. Obviously it's going to be a little while but I think something like a plank is something that you can start with every single day that will really help to strengthen your core. Um, just make sure that it's being engaged every day. I get asked often can I work out my core every day and I definitely think yes. I think you just need to be careful and make sure that you're not too sore. If you feel sore to the core and you're super super sore um, I would definitely give it a few days rest and let your muscles stretch and relax because you don't want to strain them here's a little postpartum before and after photos of how I was two months postpartum and then how my core looks now so you can definitely see the definition was gone after I had crew and I've been able to get it back now and that is super important when you're doing core moves is to have correct form I learned in my personal training when I did that certification was that you want to make sure that you are sucking your belly button into your spine. If you're on the ground on your back, you want to feel like you're sucking your belly button into the ground. Always think about engaging that into your spine and that will help you keep correct form. You want to almost have like a C curve. I can demonstrate this in um, a little demo here. The first thing that you want to focus on when you're doing core movements is to make sure that your belly button is sucked into your spine. So you want to keep your spine flat on the ground. 
So let's say I'm doing bicycles. I want to make sure that my spine stays flat on the ground and I'm sucking my belly button straight into my spine. You also want to focus on a C curve. So see how my back is off the ground? Right here, you can tell that my back is off the ground. You want to make sure that your back is on the ground and you're making a C curve with your pelvis. You're sucking your belly button into your spine and you're engaging your core here and your hips are tucked under you. So that is how you're going to want to make sure that you have correct form when you're doing core. Here we are in my little makeshift office that is not put together yet. But I wanted to show you today some moves that you can do every single day for your core that will help strengthen it and make sure that you get that six pack that you dream of. Here are some of my favorites. There's tons and tons out there and I also have an ab shredder guide on my website as well as a, a wellness guide that has six weeks of workouts and lots of ab workouts in there if you need some more suggestions as well as a highlight tab on my Instagram that has more ab workouts because core is my favorite thing to work if you haven't noticed yet. So I will show you some of these moves right now and you can implement them into your daily workouts. This move is Russian twist. So you're going to be leaning back with your hands off the ground and lift your feet and you're just going to be tapping side to side. Make sure that your belly button stays sucked into your spine and you're just doing side to side, tapping on each side. You can hold weights if you want to make it harder. You're still going to get a workout if you want to make it easier. When you feel, if you ever feel your back going like this, you want to make sure that you engage it, suck your belly button into your spine, recenter it and start again. Another move that I love is called commandos. So you're going to be down on your feet and up on in a plank position and then you're going to be coming up on one side and down on the other and then switching arms. Keeping your core engaged, trying not to wobble, trying to hold really steady. Next move is called candle sticks. So I'm going to keep my hands under my bum and my legs straight up and I'm just going to be rocking and lifting with just my core. Straight up. Like you're pushing up the ceiling with your feet. It's going to be on your back, your legs straight up, and you're just going to be dropping one leg at a time just until you feel your back start coming off the ground. If you start to feel your back coming off the ground, you need to not drop it as low because you don't want to, you don't want to strain your back. Just one leg at a time. Keep your core sucked into your, your belly button sucked into your spine. Moves that I did every single day. I just did these three every day for like two years when I was in college and in high school and I feel like I saw a lot of results. So it's a great place to start, a great place to challenge yourself. You can add five seconds to your plank every time or like every week as you get stronger and I know you guys can do it. So I'll show you what those look like. Right here on your elbows, if you need it easier, you can come on up to your hands, but eventually you want to be down here on your elbows. So sucking your belly button into your spine. I've got my butt tucked under, so my butt isn't up in the air, and I'm just holding it here for a minute. You're going to be coming up on one elbow, really focusing on your obliques. Okay, so you want your shoulders stacked above your elbow, and you're just going to be really tight right here, holding it, flexing it for one minute. You'll definitely feel it. And then we'll switch to the other side. Like from the back, so I've got my shoulder stacked over my elbow and just coming up right here. And as I promised at the end of this video, I wanted to show you some of the postpartum moves that I did to get my core to come back together, these diastasis recti moves. So these, you just really wanna focus on your breathing and make sure that you're focusing on sucking your belly button into your spine and really engaging your core and focus on bringing those muscles back together. These moves are super simple, but you really wanna focus on your breathing while you're doing them. For this first move, we're gonna be bringing our legs up here and just slowly rocking them, literally just barely moving them forward and backward you're gonna feel that pull in your core. Okay, another move is going to be bringing one leg out and one leg. One leg out and then in. And just switching. And you can keep your, make sure you're keeping your back on the ground. You can keep your head on the mat. If you need an extra challenge, you can bring it up. But again, you should feel that in your core. Bring your legs straight up and your head up and you're just gonna be fluttering sucking your belly button in. This one, you have your legs up and you're just gonna be coming and tapping one leg down 
and the other one. Back on the ground, keeping your core engaged. I still feel this one burn. This one's so good. Last one that I've been doing every day, you bring one leg up and then just slowly drop it. Doesn't feel like much, but you want to focus on your breathing. Focus on engaging your core. Make sure that your, your core is not coning, so it's not coming up to a point. If it is, you need to really refocus. Suck your belly button back into your spine and continue. Another way that I've been able to get and keep a good strong core is to make sure that I'm always eating healthy and clean, especially with my snacks. I think snacking... I think snacking is a big way that can contribute yeah, yeah, yeah. to extra weight gain because a lot of snack foods are processed foods. So I want to show you one of my favorite snack items that I make often. Coco, how often do we make it? All the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they are protein balls. So you can make these in a variety yeah, of ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can add different nuts or seeds or whatever you want to it. But I'll just show you the basics on what we put in it. product and we might eat them all today if we're being honest Woo. thank you for watching and i hope that you guys learned more about how to get abs hope that i helped to answer some of your questions and that you can work on something whether it's eating better or working out more or adding these core moves to your workouts every day i hope you guys see some improvement and let me know in the comments if you like this and if you want to learn anything else